Okay. A poem that I wrote called Her Nose. Her nose is pointed. Your nose is round. You both want each other's nose. How terribly profound. She talks to the moon and asks it for your smile. You talk to the moon and ask it for her style. She can't go a day without comparing herself. You can't go a day without comparing as well. Her grass seems greener and yours seems obscene, but grasses need water to make them green. Okay, now listen to that same poem in a British accent and tell me up, that this up. poem does not sound better with a British accent. Uh, go on, go on. Her nose is pointed, uh, your nose is round. You both want each other's nose, how terribly profound. She talks to the moon and asks it for your smile. You talk to the moon and ask it for her style. She can't go a day without comparing herself. You can't go a day without comparing as well. Her grass seems greener and yours seems obscene. But grasses need water to make them green. Now, Scouse. Tell me that doesn't sound better. Scouse, let's go. Her nose is point. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the intro. <laughs> okay, hang on. I got a grumpy old man point to make on this one. What? What is a British accent? What do you mean, what is a British accent? The English, you know what Scottish, a British accent Irish, is. Welsh, they're all British. Even within England, there's like yeah, 70 but they all regional have an accents. Accent. It's like that slanted but accent. There's not one. That slanted accent? Yeah, like, to me, like, American English is, like, regular font, and British English is, like, slant That's italics. next level. It's like, that doesn't oh, make sense. you gotta do this with your mouth, like a, oh, oh, oh. No, you I, know what I, mean? I knew a guy once he had, like, perfect pitch yeah. because he associated sound with color, so he could, what? like, hear purple. How does that That's even what you're sense? talking right now. That's a slanted <laughs> accent. What yes. do you mean? It's just like a slant. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like it seems like American English is slant. It sounds rigid and straight, and British English just sounds like slant. Like it's in italics. It's like leaning but a little that's bit. A portion of Britain that's doing that sound. But even the Scousers have a little bit of like oh, slant. Lotte. Oh my fucking god. You can That's see why slant. I've been given the reins on today's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> where we start? Well, a year ago yeah. today, or okay. okay. A year ago today is like a little bit in between Okay. The day what I was going to say... What do you I, mean, okay? I haven't even made my point okay, yet. Okay, go ahead. No, go on. I'm just curious where <laughs> you thought that was going. A year ago between January 23rd and January 29th is what I was going to say. So today is the middle of that a year ago. Go on. Go on, laddie. I hope everyone needed that <laughs> clarification and got it. So now we're all on the same page. <laughs> what um, were you going to say? God knows. See, they needed that clarification. This is why I lead the podcasts. Are you in the back seat or are you in the front seat? <laughs> I'm in the passenger seat. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. A year ago, this week, let's say, yeah, was when you went to the hospital and went in for surgery and mm -hmm. many surgeries. Yeah. And I, it's kind of weird because it doesn't feel like a year ago. Like a year yeah. seems like a long time. Um, yeah, it seems like a really long time. And we didn't have the podcast at that point. We hadn't started it yet. And I don't think we started it till June when oh. I, I took over. Right. And then it became Eric and Evie and then it became right. unnamed. And then it how did we decide that? How did we decide to start? I'm not sure where we, it was probably in quarantine when we were doing some live streaming in the middle of the summer. Yeah. I just don't remember like us being like, Hey, you want to do a podcast? Yeah, we should do a podcast. I don't remember any of that chat. It's so weird to me. I don't either. Huh. It's got to be somewhere though. If you, know, you go through your Instagram stories or something. Oh, you think I'm on my Instagram stories? Like, oh, we started, we decided to start a thing. Oh, I see what you're that saying. Would refresh. But I mean, this maybe, maybe. But I, I just mean the chat between us two, like behind the scenes that I wouldn't put on Instagram. Also, a year ago was a long time ago because think about it. A year ago at this time, 
was much different than it will be in April of this year to last year. Do you know what I mean? Like April 2021 and April 2020, I'm seeing as similar besides the like like in terms of a lot changing yeah besides the nuance of like this lockdown thing being new and this virus being new but in terms of january 2021 and january 2020 at this time like yeah it was different because i was like afraid for my leg because well actually it had only been a week before or so before i was told to amputate but um i was still scared for my whole body with the um what was I getting blood transfusion and all that scare. But at that time, people were not wearing masks besides the surgeons and the doctors. Um, no, everyone was allowed out when, whenever they wanted to go out, everyone, movie theaters, sports events, everything was still happening. Remember a week today, last year was the Super Bowl. So, well, we're, uh, like this week we're seeing a lot of the, you know, this is the first patient admitted to the hospital in Ontario. Oh, in January. Yeah. Really? He admitted to the hospital. Oh, I, I thought I thought the virus didn't even start till like end of February. No, cuz there was the first confirmed case in the states in January. Oh, okay. And I think the first confirmed in New York was possibly second last week of January. Interesting. But it was like isolated. Like that was at the point where when you had the graphs on like the New York Times site, like yeah. you could see individual bubbles, not these massive heat maps. Right. Um but wow, what? if we did have a podcast back then, yeah. like what are the kind of things that you think we would have touched on with like, we I, had like a week of like hospital life. Um, that would have been a cool moment to document just like yeah. living in a hospital. Yeah. Um, I think for me personally, like hospitals are the greatest place and the worst place because when you go to a hospital, you feel like you're going to get fixed you're going to get help. But then when you stay in a hospital, you feel like they're making you sicker. So it's like a weird paradox of like, take me to the hospital off the plane right now. I'm dying. And then the longer you stay in there, you're like, what are they feeding me? Why are they waking me up every two hours? Like, oh my God, you want me to take a blood thinner for no reason? Like, get out of here, you know? I think it's weird, too, because, like, sometimes you go in the hospital and there's, like, a really predictable, like, if you're, a, I don't know, like, people who have, like, a baby, there's, like, an yeah. average amount of time you spend there. You know you're getting out in a couple days or whatever. Yeah. I don't really know. But you know you're getting out. Whereas, like, there it was, like, what was, you were in there for, like, two weeks. Maybe I was two in and there for weeks. two and a half weeks. Yeah. And, like, when you don't know when the end date is or what is coming next, it's almost yeah. like you're in, like, this little community yeah. Like that was, it, it was so weird how quickly that became like the regular was yeah. like walking around the complex and yeah. going out for a little bit of air in the morning or like your mom delivering breakfast and stuff like there almost became like a hospital routine. <laughs> yeah. It was really weird. And like knowing all the nurses, like, Hey, I had you the other day. Yeah, Eric's or, back. Eric's back. Yeah. <laughs> Eric was the name of one of the nurses. Um, but yeah, I, so that's like my overall sentiment with hospitals is just like, it's great when you're first there because you're going to get answers and you're going to get fixed. But then the longer you stay, you're like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm getting it sicker in this place. And I just want to go home. And you lucked out, though, because you had your own room. I did. Like, it would have been and like, bad territory if you shared it. Oh, yeah, totally. And the thing is, too, is that you have to pay big money for your own room. But if they don't have any other rooms available in the common rooms then you get your own room for free. And I pretty much got that every time except for November of 2019 where we had just to share with another person. But um, speaking of like virus and hospital experience, the day before the day of my birthday, March 16th, Mm -hmm. 2020 was also the day of my infectious disease appointment for my ankle to see if the infection was gone, which it was. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, But that was also the day that they told me while I was at the infectious disease clinic that I can no longer see them because they are shutting the whole unit down. Right. They were transitioning to be. Because they're going to be a COVID hospital. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, well, thank God I went on a drug holiday and thank God I'm healed. But yeah, that is just like a marker in, in the, like my 26th birthday 
was just a, like a marker and moment. And then, uh, a marker in history, I should say. And then the next day, March 17th, St. Patrick's day, Trudeau shut the whole thing down. Everyone was shut down and it was nuts. Like, I feel like all these things are worthwhile bringing up because we didn't necessarily touch on them. Like in our year in review thing, we spoke yeah. about it being like a weird year, but it's almost mm-hmm. like how we were saying last week that it's like the new year was really like, there was like the whole like political hangover in the States. And like, yeah. that was a new year almost like this almost feels yeah. like the start of the next like cycle or phase. Right. Or whatever because right. It's, it's been a year, a year, which is like. I don't know. It's like completely detaches from everything when, when it went downhill in New York. Yeah. Um, and you were looking at the pictures the other day of like, you were like elephant sized foot. Yeah. When we were in, in New York, in New cleaning York, it up and in that was January. bedlam. Like literally, how did I go a full week with that monstrous ankle and walking on it? Why did I ever think it was a good idea? Like we thought that would go down. Yeah. Like, oh, we just, I, more of this alcohol swabs. That's a good I idea. I literally don't know how we thought that that ankle was going down. It must down. have gone up so gradually that we didn't notice how yeah. gigantic it became. We're not that oblivious, like ignorant. We, If my ankle was like that now, we'd be like, hospital yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. I think I was just so used to having a fat ankle that it just didn't look any bigger. Or yeah, much bigger. You, you because, had it again a couple months earlier, right? Like it yeah, swelled up a little bit. Well, no, because I had the infection, right? That yeah. hadn't gone down. Yeah. So it was never going, it had never gone down. It was just getting bigger the did whole time. Did it swell at all when the screws were backing out though? Yeah, it did. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. That's the whole reason I got them out in the first place. <laughs> Anyways, um, do you feel older? I don't, I, I don't feel anything in terms of age. I just feel like this weird in between like, it's really weird because like uh, where I am with work right now, mm-hmm. sometimes I'm called in to do some work with the people I worked yeah. with before yeah. 2020. Yeah. And it's weird because like for them, obviously they're working from home. Yeah. But like life is still the same. There's still like a nine to five obligation. It's yeah. still the same people. I feel like because I detached from that. Yeah. And then we did all of the stuff where like we lived in a hospital and then I like lived at your mom's house when she mm-hmm. was in another country. And yeah. then we didn't live anywhere for a bit and then, <laughs> and then we, we had to quarantine in your parents basement yeah like because i haven't had it like that routine when you have like year after year of school routine and then i did the nine to five routine for a few years when when all of that's out the window and you don't even have like a home base for more than four months at a time it, it doesn't feel real yeah like the last year feels like when i was in it it just felt long and exhausting like looking back i kind of think about like you know randomly making meals like at your mom's house for like four months like yeah. it's the weirdest thing <laughs> that's never gonna happen again i can't believe we lived together at my mom's i would have never seen that coming no like never in a million years no so that's it was cool though we haven't we haven't spent a day apart since you got to the hospital this is why i'm saying it counts for more like no. whatever you're saying it is like a year and 10 months or whatever the then hell, you know what my response this is, is gonna like be 15 years now then you know what my response is gonna so, be moving on to different <laughs> issues um okay over the weekend you found a christina <laughs> wow, aguilera you really cd swerved. you really swerved that no we just gotta stay on topic we're already 13 minutes in the people have a right to a nice tight <laughs> scripted podcast here so christina Unscripted. aguilera cd what that like you have a story about that or okay a thing so guys uh i found a christian aguilera cd okay when we were at my dad's um i was going through my old bedroom because my dad still lives at my childhood house and my bedroom that is was exactly- weird by the way Oh, did you like it? No, the the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird because like, it's like your cousin's bedroom now and he's oh, got yeah. like a 70 inch TV yeah, in a 70 inch bedroom, yeah, which that's is craziness. Not what it It's like a like. movie theater, but it, it was weird because like, because I don't know how to explain this, but like it almost like completed your life story. Because in your head? I haven't been able to visualize it. Your life story of me. Yes. Because while you were in, we were in university, that's where I was going home to and yeah. coming out of. But like you've seen like where I grew up. Yeah. And like we've kind of been around that neighborhood and it's like, oh, you know, that's where I went to school. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like there's, it's weird. Like, I don't know, not having that picture. Yeah. So it's like, I couldn't really imagine anything before you turned like 22. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I can. Anyways, go on. Yeah. So uh, we brought a bunch of stuff from that house, uh, from that bedroom, I mean. And while I was going through the stuff the other day, I forgot that I had brought back a Christina Aguilera CD. CD. And Christina Aguilera was the first concert I've ever been to. Um, but she also has a different, plays a different role for me. Like my first concert, but also like w- used to be one of my favorite artists because her voice is just so incredible. And I think she still is one of my favorite artists, but um, her song, Beautiful. Oh God. While I was playing soccer, there was a girl, the girl who just unfollowed me, like that we talked about a couple oh, podcasts good ago. throwback. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That girl, she could sing. And I, yeah, she could actually sing. And I envied her because I, like, we were best friends, inseparable, but I also really wanted to be a singer. Like, my mom knows this. You guys probably all know this now. Um, If you've bought the poetry slash short story book at nineoffline.com, you would also know the story. This is a different story, but the story of me really wanting to be a singer and how I don't have pitch but anyways um i envied her and she whenever i would go over she would tell me like this is how you sing so she would try and teach me how to sing and then when i would go home i would turn on the christina aguilera beautiful song because that's the song that we would practice to and i would sit in my room with a thing flooded and my door closed (laughs) the the room that i'm talking about right that you saw with the purple walls like 11 like um, I have no idea. Like, I don't remember this, what age I was at okay. soccer. Like, maybe under 14, maybe like 13, oh God. 14. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I would sit in my room and I'd be like, you're beautiful, <laughs> no matter what you say. Just feeling it. Words can bring me down. Like, really trying to sing. Mm. And to my mm. credit. My mom did say that I was getting better at singing after singing that song a bunch of times. Now, I don't know. What was the bar? I, I don't know, mom, if she was just telling me so I would stop singing the song <laughs> that I was getting better. You don't better, need any more practice. Or if I was actually getting better after singing that song so many times. But like, I felt like I was getting better. I felt like she was actually teaching me how to sing. Still don't think people can learn how to sing, but I might have been getting better. Who knows if my mom put me in singing lessons, I could be the living tale that told you, you can learn how to sing. I'm that living, breathing example. What was the advice you got? I, I don't remember at all. Like, how do you it was like, practice? Put your tongue down and like come from your throat and you're like, not yeah, from, sorry, not from your throat, from your belly. Deep, yeah. Yeah. It's like, you are beautiful. I can do it. I can't do it. So that was really embarrassing what I just did there. Anyways. That was the embarrassing part. <laughs> yeah. What else is embarrassing? I mean, rewind the tape two minutes. We're going to play back that song. Excuse me. Why? Oh, my God. Whatever. What's next? Okay. What? We're going to move on swiftly. I want to play a game. Okay. So I... When this podcast started, yeah, had lesbian TikTok. Oh my god! I didn't choose that; it chose me. Right, but it chooses you based on what you watch and like. <laughs> I wasn't. No, see, yes. this is my problem. I just ran. I downloaded TikTok and I resented it at first because all it was was you playing it ridiculously loudly, and it was just teenagers dancing. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not for me. And every time I went on there, it was teenagers dancing, but or lesbian inside jokes that I don't get because obvious reasons. But I kept telling you, it's not just about dancing. Look at this cook. Look at this guitar player. To, like, look at this work paint it in. So <sighs> I want to see, we're like a year into the whole TikTok thing. Yeah. What your TikTok feed is like, because okay. it's going to be dramatically different from mine. So I'm thinking I'll scroll like five of your first things. Okay. I'll do it the way you do it. Like I'll give every video a chance. I won't just okay. blitz through the thing. And yeah. then you can look at like the first five things that come up when you open it on mine. Okay. And we'll Am I going to get more lesbians? No, because I don't see any of that. Also, anymore. not that there's anything like, wrong with lesbians. <laughs> <Sunbow, or yay. laughs> 
We love the gays. We love everybody. We're just whose TikTok goes first. Not interested. You go do mine first. Is your volume up so people? No, because I'll, my volume. I'll explain up. what I'm seeing. Okay, go TikTok. It's on. Okay, the first thing, it's an ad. We're gonna <laughs> skip the ad. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Okay, <laughs> this is like emo TikTok. What's happening? Gen Z problems holding Tampax. Okay, not that one. Since Destiny got in a relationship. This is lesbian TikTok. What the hell is that, though? There's zero likes on that. I'm sorry, but you're on lesbian TikTok now. No. This is Ugh. someone wearing black makeup. Oh, she's a goth. No, this isn't real. This, what do you mean this isn't real? That because is a real these person. Are, no, you got to scroll past these. Okay. There we go. Acting now start like from my here. my Gen Z daughter. It's like a 30 year old woman trying to do TikTok in a Nirvana dances. shirt. This is terrible TikTok. Okay. Fly with me from Michigan. Okay, you got self taught pilot TikTok. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like entrepreneurial shit. She's talking in like 21C, runway 24 clear for takeoff. Okay, that's kind of cool. I learned something there. This is a young kid talking about being maced. This is lame. I would have skipped that. Whoa, it's a parent riding a tech deck! It's a parent riding a tech deck! <laughs> Remember tech decks? Is that what it's called, right? With the little yeah, finger yeah. skateboards? That is the best thing. I'm gonna like that. Okay. You gotta like that. Okay, this is the last one. Christina... No, these ones don't count. I'm skipping people who you follow? Yes, skip the follow people. Okay, this woman is putting a flower on a frog. And she's putting a flower on her own head. Um, okay, that's it. I okay. I don't like your TikTok. The you only like thing, the it was a pair riding a tech tech, but I had to go through some emo Tampax commercial. Okay, I just have to say that the... That, we should have prefaced that if it says you're following them, you should skip it because that's not like a curated by the algorithm thing. That's a yeah, that's self cur- TikTok. No, it's that's not. That's a different game. I would have. That's a different game. No. That's a different game. No. The game was one of the first five things you see. No. You started changing the rules. No, I. Here. My phone is open. Oh. Hang on. Let me turn the volume on. Turn the volume on. Volume's up. Brightness is up. Go for it. <sighs> okay. Narrate. I'm narrating opening TikTok app. Break his back and make him humble. Oh, that's the iron. That's wrestling. What? What? Okay, there's a, a guy in a bandana. He's looking like a wrestler. And he's saying some whack things. Iron shake during it's a school it's interview. It's WWF. All right, next. WWE. Hey, so what do you have to say? That's tax free, right? Canadian TikTok about TFSA, taxes and TFSA. Money? That money. is very money you, That's very me. you. Money talk. Prop, drink. Prop drinks. Well, I tell people we don't use real alcohol. Oh, this is cool. This is about film sets and yeah. movie sets and yeah. using what they, they use stuff for that props. Won't hurt them. Yeah. Fake cigarettes and stuff. Yeah, they put colorant, caramel colorant to make whiskey. So then right. when they're drinking a whole bottle of whiskey, it's just water you with caramel. You something like I That's learned from awesome. the pilot. What Before TikTok effects, there was Pepper's ghost. What the hell? Okay, this guy just turns on a light and then he becomes some kind of skeleton that he Boring. looks like superimposed Next. Uh, on. I'd swipe the hell out of that. Okay. Oh, this one's cool. This one is asking her, a retired spy. Her dad was a spy. And how can he reveal these things? He's not really, he doesn't, he's careful with his words. I've seen him before. Interesting. That's a good five. Wait, hold on though. That's great. TikTok. Why is she exposing her dad as a spy? Isn't He's like retired. Putin gonna still like? That's his problem. But don't you but think? Don't my, you think that's bad? My TikTok was better than your TikTok. Yeah, yours was, but I, you didn't play the game right. What do you mean I didn't play the game because right? Because I told you don't look at the ones that Even I. Even skipping them. Yes. My TikTok's better. All you all, you had the parrot on a tech deck, which was dope. and the pilot. Okay, sorry if you got some emo shit. I'm there right now. Okay. I'm looking for my tribe. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay. So what did you gather from that? Why is your TikTok so much better than mine? I want the spy thing. Swipe. 
the boring stuff that the kid that was doing the lip sync of the mace girl from the insurrection okay. swipe what do you think it's just gonna be a kid doing a lip sync okay i just give everybody a chance like i've always done even when i was on a film set this is how my mama raised me but she said <laughs> talk to everyone talk to the janitors talk to the directors talk to the producers talk to the people that make the food for the set I give everyone totally. a chance. In it's person, in my veins. In person, give everybody a chance. But online, everyone's screaming for your attention. But that is true. But I'm the same in person and online. So it's very hard. I think quicker swipes will start to teach them that you're not interested in the... And loads of muting and blocking. Like, just I get rid don't, of stuff. I can't I, block if people If there's for a sound no that's bothering you, just mute that. Like, mute the trends. <laughs> All what, right. what are you going to learn from seeing another thing? I'm going to be up and hip in the culture. Okay. All right. I, Tell me about that hot gossip. I, I, we just need to get rid of all of this. Like, I'm going to have to start hosting if this is the kind of energy you're bringing to the... Do you have anything else that you want to say before we go to the question of the week? <laughs> That's a visual joke and it doesn't work in an audio <laughs> medium. <laughs> Guys, let the record show that I swiped my lips like I was locking them, and then I locked them and threw the key away. And so when I was... It it's meant great my for radio. lips. <laughs> great for radio. <laughs> okay, Eric, go on. Move Qu- on, question then. Question of the week? Question of the week, shall we? Okay. I started this show with a little grumpy old man chat about the British accent. Because you are a grumpy old man. Well... Let's Most end it with of that. The time. What is your grumpy old man movie? Let me explain what that means. Okay. So there's like big things that are famous, like big bands or like big movies or whatever. And there's always that boring old dude who's like, I haven't seen it and I have no interest in seeing it. What is the movie that everyone's seen or the show that everyone's seen that you have absolutely no interest? No in interest seeing? in seeing. Because everyone's seen Star Wars, and I do have an interest in seeing that. Uh, everyone's seen all the Harry Potters, and I do have an interest in seeing that. Um, do you I do, need a second? I need a second. Do you have something? I can fill the air, yeah. All right. I My, my grumpy old man one is The Godfather, because I just think... Oh, I want to see that. Mafia is, like, lame. Oh, my God. It's just been done. It's just not oh, interesting. Oh, my spear to the heart. Titanic might be there as well, because, like... Oh, my God. I know how it ends. Like, it's famously not oh, a good ending. God. So those might be the two where it's, like... Never it's not seen famously it, not a good it. ending. It's a good ending. It's just a meme. We've known for a hundred years that the ship sinks. Like that is. Oh yeah, I know. But so that's the. St- it's a story of the ship sinking. I guess. If if it's worthwhile, I can probably come around to it. But it's just I've never thought. Oh great, I have three hours to put aside. Let's watch the Titanic. I don't. I don't. Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I don't Pearl Harbor. <laughs> yeah. Why Why Pearl Harbor? Like, I feel like I did watch it because my dad had the VHS set to it. And I don't remember it at all. So I don't think that counts. Pearl Harbor or Saving Private Ryan? No, Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Harbor. Okay, okay. I do actually have an interest in it now that I... You know, it's weird because it's having this opposite effect on me. The more I say I don't want to watch it, it's like... There's two me's inside myself. And, I'm, and the more the one me says I don't want to watch it, the other me's like... Yeah, you do. Now you do. Okay, what about like, what is like one or two massive movies that you haven't seen? That like everyone's like, oh, you've got to see this. No, I don't I know. I don't. I've seen every single massive movie. Except Star Wars. Except Star Wars. I can't. I'm really trying to think of something. Uh, like, can we do a quick Google search search for the biggest movies? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Okay, so what are we searching here? Well, we could go like IMDb top 500 movies or some garbage like that. I know I know that the the top movie is going to be Shawshank Redemption and it rightfully deserves that sh- spot. Okay. Oh, the second is yours, The Godfather. See, what is 12 Angry Men? I don't know, but I do think I want to see that just by the title alone. Really? Yeah. Um Lord of the Rings, I love 
Pulp Fiction was good. Schindler's List. That's heavy. I do want to see that, though. That's heavy, though. Fight Club, Love, Forrest Gump, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I don't think I'll ever see that. I, I don't. What is that? It's like a three-hour Western movie in 1966. It was A done. bounty hunting scam joins two men in an uneasy alliance against the third in a race to find a fortune in gold I think buried it in a good. remote cemetery. Okay, I want to watch Eastwood. that. Clint Eastwood is in that. I definitely Sergio wanna... Leone is like Tarantino inspiration right there. Matrix, Goodfellas, Star Wars, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's I've got Nets. that on DVD right here. Hamilton. How is Hamilton in the top oh, movies? Oh, Parasite. Okay, every time I say let's watch Parasite. No like, interest. I don't in want to read. Exactly. Well, you don't speak Korean, so you're going to have to read when well, you see Parasite. When they come up with a dubbed version of we Parasite, are not. I'll watch it. We are it. not. <laughs> Scorari Patru? What's that? That's Bollywood. We're in a different category. No, now. it's the top 500 movies. Spirited Away. Okay, now you're just... Li- anyone can go... Saving Private Unless you're going to have good insight here. No one needs to have you read 500 movies out. Wow, you are a grumpy old man. I'm not. I'm just trying to keep this interesting for the listener. Joker, that was good. Yeah, I know. Whiplash was really good. Now I'm falling into this pattern. If anyone, <laughs> if anyone knows any movies, we should say out. Text in. We'll just oh, yeah. spend, uh, next week, we'll just read out movie titles. Okay, guys. Actually, that's a really good idea. Comment or tweet me or private message me on Instagram. Whatever. DM whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you heard me right. Let the record show I just pushed him away. Anyways. Great. Uh, <laughs> this is audio. <laughs> okay, guys. If there's a movie that is so good, like uh, that should be on this list. Uh, that I should see or should have seen like a Star Wars, write it With no down, mafia. Write it down and um, like, I'll see it's next. Been done. Eric, can I talk please? I'm doing the in-between bits. I'll see next. You're stumbling over your words. I'll see next week if I have seen it and I'll, or I'll tell you next week if I've seen it and if I want to see it. Okay. Can you sing Genie in a Bottle before we leave? Genie in a Bottle, baby. You got the right hand. Right hand.